Um, we got a football game, folks. We got a football game to talk about. Ravens and the Chiefs. Let me uh, do this professionally here. Pull up the game. I want to talk a little bit about my thoughts on the game before we get into some specifics about, uh, you know, the Green Bay Packers and whatnot. We got some news and notes about that, specifically about the injuries. For the most part, the boys just spent the day on an airplane. But um, Baltimore and Kansas City, we've got um, week one Thursday uh, at the Kansas City Chiefs. The uh, Chiefs are favored to win. They are three-point favorites, um, over-under set at 47 points. I'm going to get into all the specifics of that. But um, I'm just excited that we got football back. I think this is going to be a great matchup. Unfortunately, I mean, we had, what was it, Chiefs and Lions last year, and it ended up being an absolute freaking disgrace because the Chiefs ended up not having two of their best three players on the team and um, just played like absolute dog crap, and the Lions just flubbed their way into a victory. It was such complete, utter garbage. Anyways, we don't uh, seem to be having that as a situation this time around. Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs should be a really good game. Um, aside from games that actually matter, you know, rivals and whatnot, it's about as good a game as you could possibly imagine. Uh, I put this little betting article together on uh, Twitter if you want to go look at it. It was more for me to use as notes, but uh, if anybody feels like looking at it, it's here. Ravens vs. Chiefs Week 1 Analysis Report. So I went through and found some statistics. Obviously, I had to plug it into the robot to get some uh, thoughts on it and whatnot, but just some trend data. So I want to go over a couple of these different things and then give you my thoughts. First of all, obviously, most importantly, what people just want to know is who's going to win. But uh, for those of you looking to put a buck here or there, give you some thoughts. So first of all, head-to-head, -head, Ravens against the Chiefs. The Ravens are 5-8, and eight, so 38.5% win rate. That's obviously out of their last, what, 13 games. The Ravens are... Um, Six and seven against the spread, which is 46.2%, and the over hit 54.5%. So the Chiefs win, what, 70%, 80%, uh, no, 60% of the time, but they don't cover the spread quite as much, just 46.2%. Then we get down to week one performance. How do these teams do week one? In their last 10 seasons, the Ravens are 7-3 and three straight up and against the spread. The Chiefs are 8-2, 80% and 80 straight up, but just 6-4, and 60% against the spread. So you notice we're, we're, there's a pattern here. Chiefs are really good, not quite as good when you're talking about against the spread. They're good against the Ravens, not quite as good against the spread. How do the Ravens perform as underdogs since 2017? They win just 47.8% of the time, but they cover the spread 82.6% of the time, which is crazy. They, they lose more often than they win when they're underdogs, but they almost always cover the spread. The uh, over is 52.4%. The Chiefs, as home favorites since 2017, they win 77% of the time, but they cover just 52% of the time. So again, the Ravens, when they're underdogs, cover the spread almost 83% of the time. The Chiefs cover the spread just a, basically a coin flip, 50-50. On Thursday games, the Ravens um, are 4-2, 66.7% win and cover. The Chiefs on Thursdays are 6-3 straight up, so they win 66.7%, but they're just 55.6%. When they cover and then um we got some high game totals or whatever so he here's kind of the bottom line most of this points to the chiefs winning the chiefs are 80 percent, but that encompasses two losses one of which was pre pat mahomes the other one was last year in that ridiculous fake football game that uh, doesn't really mean anything um the uh ravens versus Chiefs, it's very heavily in the Chiefs column as far as wins go. 
I'm going to be rooting for the Ravens in this game, just to be clear. Um, I much prefer the Ravens. I'm sick of the Chiefs, et cetera, et cetera. I would be very happy if the Ravens won this game. But it, it, historically, there's almost nothing that points in that direction. So if you're just asking me who I think is going to win, the answer is the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the reason why I wouldn't bet the Chiefs to win on the... Um, on. I, on either uh, against the spread or straight up against the spread because the the numbers do not go in their favor once you start talking against the spread and then as far as betting them to win the problem is a good value for them based on some of the statistics that i found is closer to minus 125 151 is just not a good value in my opinion this is not uh, a, a fact of any kind. It's just based on the numbers that I found. The math does not check out. So I would not be betting the Chiefs, although I do think they're going to win. I think potentially the absolute best bet here is to bet the Ravens at plus three. Again, if you go through it, the Ravens-Chiefs is pretty much a 50-50 when you're looking against the spread. It's a little bit in the Chiefs' favor, but it's 46% for the Ravens. The uh, Ravens against the spread week one, 70%. The Chiefs, 60%. Um, Ravens when they're underdogs, 82.6% they cover. Chiefs, 52.3% when they're home favorites they cover. Um, Thursday games, Ravens cover 66.7%. Chiefs 55.6. So that's the one I put a little bit of money on. There's also some, uh, certainly less confident, but I have 126 as exactly the number I came up with for the a good value for the Ravens. So if you feel like throwing a little bit in that direction, especially if you're going to, uh, you know, bet on them anyways, um, you could try to juice up that a little bit. But I, I, not exactly uh, my favorite. I'm not going to do it because, again, I think the Raven, uh, I think the Chiefs are going to win the game. So um, that's my thoughts on Chiefs and Ravens. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing this. We'll see. I do enjoy this, playing with the numbers, look at all the history and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, the most important thing is going to be weeks two, three, four, five, six, seven, when we have actual data from this year. There's a lot of things that have changed. But still, the historical data is pretty consistent over the years and uh, can kind of give you a little bit of a picture. It's the best information that we have as far as um, week one is concerned. So I think that's about all I've got on that. Uh, obviously, pay attention to weather, injuries, all that good stuff. But we got football. I'm excited about it. Can't wait to watch it until about five minutes in. I'm going to be bored. But uh, yeah. Yeah.